Hi, I'm Andy Clockwise and this is a Rubik's Cube and if you can't solve one then watch this video because I'm going to teach you how to do it in just a few easy steps. Okay, so let's start. The first thing we need to do is mix up our Rubik's Cube. Now believe it or not, any thoroughly mixed up Rubik's Cube is only around 20 moves away from being solved. Uh, it's going to take us a few more than 20 moves. So I'm going to teach you the real basic way of doing it. But the first thing you need to do, just mix it up randomly and it will start. Okay, so we've got our mixed up cube. Where do we start? Um, first of all, I need to tell you about the different sides of the cube. You've got the up side, you've got the down side, there's the left side, the right side, the front side, and the back side. Okay, um, so I will refer to up, down, left, right, front, or back. And when I say make a move, it's just one move in a 90 degree rotation clockwise, unless I tell you to do it anti-clockwise. See what I've done there? Anti-clockwise, it's funny. <clears throat> um, anyway, so each move I tell you. Now, if I say right, right, it means turn the right hand side two times clockwise. If I say two times right anti-clockwise, then you turn it two times anti-clockwise. All right, so let's start. The first thing you need to do is make a daisy. And the way we do that is find the yellow center and have that on the top. So there's the top, the up, up side, and you're gonna find the yellow center. And what you want to do is you need to find a, a white edge piece that goes there, a white edge piece to go there, a white edge piece to go there, and a white edge piece to go there. Um, just do it, you should be able to do it. If you cannot do that, then I suggest that you put the cube down and go and get yourself a jigsaw puzzle. So do that and then come back. Okay, so you're back and you've got your daisy. Oh, uh, the next thing that we need to do is move these white pieces round to the white side, okay? And the way we do that is you've got this white piece here. Let's start with green. So you've got white and green. Rotate these two bottom layers until the green is underneath that green. Once you've done that, rotate this face Two times, doesn't matter which direction you do it in, it's going to end up in the same location. Two times, one, two. Once you've done that, turn the cube around and look at the next colour, which is next to that white edge piece, and it's red. Once again, turn these two bottom layers around, doesn't matter which order you turn them in, until you get that red centre underneath that red edge piece. Once you've got that, turn this whole face around two times. Again, it doesn't matter if it's going clockwise or anti-clockwise. One, two. Once you've done that, turn the whole cube around, You've got the blue side with the white edge piece. Again, turn these two bottom layers around until you find the blue center. Once you've done that, turn this whole face around two times. One, two. Okay. Last, you're looking for the orange and white edge piece. And then you're going to turn these two bottom layers around until you find the orange center. And then you turn this whole face around two times. One, two. And then when you turn your cube up, you should find that you have the white center and the four white pieces. Now, you, you may also have a white piece there, 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 or there. Don't worry about that. You're just looking for the white cross. And you want to check that your white edge pieces match up with the centers on each side. So that piece there, the white and the orange, matches with the orange. That piece there, the white and the green, matches with the green. The white piece there, the, the white and the red, matches with that red. And the blue piece there, the white and the blue, that matches with that blue center. Okay, so now that you've got your white cross and your edge pieces match up with the center pieces on the corresponding side, I'm going to change the camera angle now so you get a bird's eye view of exactly what I'm looking at. So the next time you see me, you should have solved your cube. All right, let's see if we can solve these uh, corner pieces. Now, the first thing I'm looking for is um, a white facing me. So I've, uh, in one of these two bottom corners, either there or there. They're the ones that I usually start with. And I can see I do have one there and there's one there. Uh, let's start with this one here. Um, what I want is the white on one of these corners, like I say. And then I look to see what this color there is. And I can see that that is green. So what I do is I just move that bottom layer around until that green matches the green center there. Okay, so this piece has got to go up into that position there. All right, so once it's here, so again, I've got the white facing me, uh, the green matches the green center, and I want this piece to go up to there. And the way that I do that is you're gonna move the bottom layer, um, you're gonna move that 
So down, so when I say down, I just mean move that bottom layer down. That goes one turn, that's 90 degrees clockwise. So down, uh, then left, and then now down anti-clockwise, and then left anti-clockwise. And that puts that corner there up in the correct position. I'll now have a look around to see if any of the others have moved around. See, one of them's moved location, it's now over this side here. So I've got the orange there. So what again, what I do is I move that bottom piece around so that that orange matches the orange center there. And I've got this white down in this bottom corner. And I just repeat the move that I did for the last corner piece to move that from there to there. So that's down, left, down anti-clockwise, left anti-clockwise. And that puts that piece in the correct position there. Uh, again, I look around the queue to see if I've got any white pieces down in the bottom here. I don't, I've got one up there. I need to bring that down into one of these bottom corners here. So what I do is right anti-clockwise, down, right clockwise, down anti-clockwise. And all that does, it just moves this into a different position. Okay, so now I've got this down in this bottom, bottom uh, right hand corner here. I look to see I've got orange. So again, I just move that around. Oh, there's the orange. So I'm gonna move that back so that this orange matches the orange there. So this piece is going to go from here into there. And the way that I do that is down anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, down clockwise, right clockwise. And that puts that corner piece up there. So we're looking for one more corner piece to go into that position there. It's down here. I've got red on that side, so I move that around so that the red matches the red in the center, and I need to get this from here up to there. So that is down clockwise, left clockwise, down anti-clockwise, left anti-clockwise. And that puts that position up there. So all four corner pieces on the white layer in the correct position, and I should end up with this T shape on each of these four sides. All right, so that's the corners. Uh, one more thing about corners. If you find yourself in a position where you have a corner piece underneath the cube and you need to get it from underneath uh, to the top, then what you do is rotate that bottom layer until the white piece is underneath where it needs to go. So you can see that that white piece is there and it needs to go there. So I'll just rotate that bottom layer around until that white piece is underneath where it needs to go. And then you perform this move. So you perform right anti-clockwise, uh, down clockwise, right clockwise. Now it doesn't put the, the, the piece in that position there, but what it does do, it moves it from the bottom and it moves it into one of these bottom corners here. So you can repeat the moves that you did earlier on. So I can see I've got white there I've got orange there, so what I do is I'm looking for that orange center, so I just move this around till the orange corner matches that orange center, so I know that that piece has got to go from here up to there, and I just repeat the move that I did earlier on, which is down clockwise, left clockwise, down anti-clockwise, left anti-clockwise, and that will put the piece in the position where you need it. Okay, so that's the corners. Okay, so you've solved the top layer, congratulations. And you should have a T shape on each of the four sides with this top layer here, this color matching with the center on each of the four sides. We're now gonna concentrate on doing these edge pieces, these center edge pieces on the second layer. And we look for them down here on the bottom layer. And what we're looking for is an edge piece, a center edge piece that does not have yellow in it just because yellow is on the bottom there. So we don't wanna put a piece over there that's got yellow in it because yellow needs to be down here. So we're looking for a piece that does not have yellow, an edge piece that does not have yellow. So orange and blue does not have yellow. So what I do is I just move this orange piece around until orange is underneath the orange center. And I look to see where the blue is. Now that side's green, that side's blue. So we need to move this piece from there to there. And the way we do that is this. Okay, so it is 
down, left, down, left, anti-clockwise, down, anti-clockwise, front, anti-clockwise, down, anti-clockwise, front, clockwise. And let's now move the piece from there up to there. So we've got that edge piece in the correct place. Okay, now let's look for another edge piece. Um, orange and green, we can use that. So let's move the orange round so that the orange is underneath the orange and that green needs to go over there. And the way we do that is down anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, down anti-clockwise, right, down, front, down, and front anti-clockwise. And now that puts that piece from there over to there. So let's look for our next piece. We're looking for a piece that does not have yellow in that edge piece. Now we can see we've got red and green. So let's move this red around. So this red has got to go from here to there. Okay, so this, oh, hang on, no, sorry. Green, green underneath, it needs to go from there to there. You can see that that is an edge piece which needs to be over there. So let's get that out of the way and put that in its place. So we're moving this piece, red and green, over to there. And the move to do that is down, left, down, left anti-clockwise, down anti-clockwise, front anti-clockwise, down anti-clockwise, front clockwise. And that puts that corner piece in the correct position there. So we've only got one piece now to find. It should be on the bottom here somewhere. There it is, blue and red. Let's move that blue around so it's underneath the blue center. And it needs to go from there to there because it's blue and red and this piece is blue and red. So again, it's going from there to there. And again, the way we do that is down, left, down, left anti-clockwise, down anti-clockwise, front anti-clockwise, down anti-clockwise, and finally front clockwise. And that should put all of your middle edge pieces in the correct positions and you've now completed two complete layers of the queue. Well done you. All right, so you've now solved the top two layers of the cube. Uh, turn the cube over so that yellow is now our up layer. Okay, yellow is now up. Um, what we need to do is solve the top so that we have a yellow cross. Okay, it's yellow, 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 yellow. There is a chance if you turn the cube over, you might have a complete yellow face. You might even have a yellow cross there already. Don't worry about what you've got in these corners here. You might have a yellow there or a yellow there or a yellow there or yellow there. If you've got a yellow cross or the face is completely yellow, move on to the next segment. You don't need this. If you don't have a yellow cross, then just follow this simple algorithm. You're going to do front, up, right, up, anti-clockwise, right, anti-clockwise, front, anti-clockwise. All right, now you can see there that I do have a yellow cross. You might not, so if you don't, just do the move again. All right, so I'll do it again. Front, up, right, up, anti-clockwise, right, anti-clockwise, front, anti-clockwise. Remember, you're doing this until you can see a yellow cross on the top. If you end up with a vertical line through the middle there, then turn your cube either anti-clockwise or clockwise so that that line across the middle there is horizontal and do the move again. So front, up, right, up, anti-clockwise, right, anti-clockwise, front, anti-clockwise. You're just gonna keep doing that until you've got that yellow cross on the top. Over and over again. Okay, so I've now got yellow, 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 yellow. I've got my yellow cross. And again, don't worry about these pieces in the corner. I've got my yellow cross. I'm ready to move on to the next stage. Okay, so you've got your yellow cross on the top. If you have a complete yellow face, you can skip this next bit as well. Well done you, you don't need to watch this. If you don't have a complete yellow and you've just got your cross on the top, then what you're looking for is a yellow piece in this top left-hand corner. Now, as I just flip around the cube here, you can see that I do have one there and it's there. Uh, you get that left top corner with the yellow facing you. Remember the yellow is on top and you do this move. Right, up, right, anti-clockwise, up, right, up, 
up, right, anti-clockwise. Do that move. It puts everything back. All these, all these layers remain intact. These two bottom layers should still be intact. Okay, and you keep doing that. And what you're, what you're looking for is this, which I call the fish. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like there's the body of the fish. There's the tail. Okay, so you do that, and you'll find that you've got a fish. Okay. Once you've got the fish, put the body of the fish, these four cubes down in the bottom left hand corner and perform that same algorithm again. Okay, so it's on the bottom of the screen, so you do that move again. So it's right, up, right, anti clockwise, up, right, up, up, right, anti clockwise. Okay. Now, once again, you've got the fish, but you need to turn it around. So again, the body of that fish, these four cubes, these yellow cubes are down in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, after doing this three times, you will find that you will end up with a completely yellow face. So do that algorithm again. Right, up, right, anti-clockwise. Up, right, up, up, right, anti-clockwise. Okay, so now I've got a yellow top. If you don't, then do it one more time. Make sure you've got those four yellows in the corner there and do that algorithm again and keep doing it until you end up with a yellow face on the top. There is a chance that you may have completely solved the cube. I haven't, which is great. This is how I want it so I can show you how to do it. But at this point, you may have found that you've uh, solved the cube. So there you go. You don't need to go any further. But get to this stage and then we'll move on. All right, here we go. So you, these two layers are all complete. The top layer now the yellow is complete you may find that already all of these are complete and you solve the cube if you haven't then you need to follow this um, algorithm i'm going to teach you here now what you want to do is look around the top layer of the cube to see if any of these corner pieces are the same color so i would want i'll, I'll be looking for either two reds in each corner or two greens in each car right i've got two oranges one there one there which is great i just move that top layer around so that those two orange pieces are on top of uh, what is pretty much a, a completed orange face. If you look around the top of the cube and you don't have matching corners, then don't worry, just do this algorithm anyway that I'm gonna show you, and you'll end up with two matching corner pieces. All right, so if you're in this position, if you're able to do this, then uh, put this face with these two matching corners around to the back. That's now around the back, okay? And perform this algorithm. Right anti-clockwise, front, right, anti-clockwise, back, back, right, front, anti-clockwise, right, anti-clockwise, back, back, right, right, and now one last turn on the top, anti-clockwise, up, anti-clockwise, and if you have a look around the cube now, You should have something like that. If you don't, then just do that move again. Okay, and if you do it a couple more times, you'll end up in this position here. Now, you can see that pretty much all of the faces are now solved apart from that piece needs to go over there, and that needs to go over there, and so on. But get to this stage here, and then you're ready for the final piece of this puzzle. Oh, <laughs> here we go then. Oh, this is so exciting. So you should be in this position here. Um, you might find that you've got a completed face, all right? I don't have a completed face, all right? I've got a piece missing uh, in the wrong place on each of my faces here. The top and the bottom are fine, but these sides have got a piece in the wrong position. If you do have a side which is completed, so if this green was all complete, just turn this side around so that that is at the back and then follow the algorithm that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna teach you now. If you're like me and you don't have any of these pieces in the correct place and you've got a piece missing on all sides, uh, it doesn't matter which which orientation and, and how you start this, okay? So again, if you've got a completed face, let's imagine that this green face is completed, just turn that around so that that completed face is at the back. If not, then it doesn't matter where you start. So here we go. Final algorithm. Front, front, up, left right anti-clockwise front front left anti-clockwise right up front front 
All right, so can you see what's happened here? Now, you may have solved the cube. Your cube now may be solved. If it is, congratulations. Uh, but here I am with one completed side, and I've still got these pieces in the wrong position. Okay, so I do that algorithm again. I put the completed side at the back, and I do that move again. So it is front, front, up, left, right, anti-clockwise, front, front, left, anti-clockwise, right, up, front, front. Okay, so my blue should still be solved, but all it's done is just shifted these three pieces around there to different positions, okay? Again, yours may now be solved. If it is, congratulations. If not, we've got to do it one last time to get that piece from there to there, that piece from there to there, and that piece from there to there. Here we go. Final 12 moves will do it. Front, anti-clockwise. Front, anti-clockwise. Up, left, right, anti-clockwise. Front, front, left, anti-clockwise. Right, up, front, front. You've done it. You've solved the cube. <laughs> So there you go, congratulations. You have solved a Rubik's Cube. Learn those algorithms, do them over and over again. Write them down on a piece of paper. Learn those algorithms over and over again. Eventually, it will just become muscle memory. You can do away with a piece of paper and you will just pick it up and solve it without even thinking about it. So congratulations, you have solved the Rubik's Cube. Cheers.